That's why 90% of my life is me just being a fucking weird ibis. <laughs> hey! Hi! So, welcome to another episode of Paint Me Belly Babe. And today's Belly Babe is Lenore Noir! It's me! Lenore is fabulous Miss Bell S Queensland and she's painting a face on me today and we've already gotten ahead of the game and we've done a little bit of priming including the eyelids and we've started on the brows start, finish? Uh, we'll get back to them we might re yeah. revise those brows we'll, but we'll get in there <laughs> yeah but we, we've just kind of jumped ahead on the game a little bit and now we're going to keep going so keep watching Ooh. Um, using Gorgeous Cosmetics Shimmer Dust. Mm. Um, I super love this. It has lasted me like years. Sorry. So I do get a bit messy with this. And I go all over the lid. As you can see, I'm going pretty hardcore. And what this does is it just allows um, when the stage lights hit you to really, really like amplify the brow. Ooh. So much dust. As you can tell, this is the reason why I do this first. I am doing a look based on my um, act, the Ibis. So I, uh, I actually really account for for winning Miss Burlesque Queensland in 2016, um, and it's my favourite, and it's a tribute to Brisbane. So uh, I'm not quite sure if you've ever seen an ibis bird, but they're disgusting, super <laughs> disgusting, and um, and pretty much. Uh, during the development of my act, I now have a lot of random ibis facts that really, really annoy everybody because I tell them like everything about ibises that you will ever want to know. Why not? You don't need to know that much. Oh, um, okay, so closing your lid. Mm -hmm. So I love, 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 love uh, using a red mm -hmm. um, during this act. I try and use quite a lot of it, so which is why we're doing a red eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because. Um, really kind of like playing up on the red parts on the ibis bird. Yeah, so ibises have um, little red spots. So they have red on the top of the head that runs down the neck. They also have red underneath their arms, which uh, is the grossest thing about an ibis. <laughs> but here's the fun part. Random ibis back time. Um, they, when they're like super red onto the arms and super red on their arms, uh, sorry, on their head and legs, it actually means that they're in mating season. Oh. So, so we're kind of telling all the boys that we're ready with all this red. Oh yeah. That's pretty much like one of my favorite things about ibis birds. And I used to um paint my armpits red for the axe. <laughs> Now you may notice that I'm actually not doing the wing at the moment. Mm. So if you want to just slowly open your eyes, not fully. There we go. Ooh. Okay. The reason for that is I like actually just building the start of it oh. and then doing the line at the end. Makes it a bit easier so you know. Yeah. It's like painting by numbers. It is, yeah. I just like to paint by numbers. So from here, doing a really, really easy wing tip is <laughs> um, so I want you to look up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the way you want to kind of get an eyeliner, winged eyeliner, is to follow your end, uh, your bottom lid, and then that'll actually give you the shape you want to keep going with. Why fuck with nature any more than you have to, eh? Yeah. So. We've got one on. Ooh, so subtle. So really, really subtle eyeliner. We're gonna start foundation. Foundating. Ooh, so foundate. Mm. So, um, just having an intimate moment with my foundation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure if this will match your color, but Looks I, similar. yeah, I um, I super love Krylon's TV paint sticks. Mm -hmm. Literally my favorite things ever to use. So this is like the worst part of it. Mm. Is the amount of blending that you do have to do. Yeah. Do you find it hard to do regular makeup after you've done like such extreme makeup? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's really terrible. I um I really struggle sometimes mm. um to remember what normal makeup yes. is for other people. Yes. Um and often I'll go to events and mm. I will have yeah. light makeup on yeah. and uh, it's like Eight, 18 times more than the yes. like next person. So I'm just gonna put on the contour. So I love um, using the chubby brush from Mermaid Salon. I got to win this actually, it's Ooh, great. Nice. Um, my only peanut pageant I did, I, Ooh. funnily enough, was an Ibis. Yes, you were the Ibis with the trailer trash. <laughs> and I won the title of uh, Trailer Trash Darling. Nice. Um, so I use TV paint sticks, but in a darker shade, a very dark shade. And then the temple. And never have I ever contoured my hair. I always do because most of the time I wear wigs. Mm. Um, I was the dickhead who decided to make their name noir um, to match my hair color. Which is blonde. Which is now blonde. <laughs> oh yeah, it's sexy. Oh. So I like a little bit of a button nose, because I don't have one. So I like button noses, they're quite cute. Um, so it's a lot of contour to put on, just a touch. Yeah, just a little bit. It's real subtle. Um, and we haven't even got to highlight yet. So <laughs> I do a lot to build the base. Um, yeah, so contour your forehead, especially if you wear wigs. Mm. That's what I forgot to say, sorry. For the lace or? Yeah. Makes it look a bit more natural. Mm. Do you, um, do you have a contour on top of your lace or? Uh, not gonna lie, my lace is really dirty at the moment. <laughs> um, I don't think you're alone. <laughs> oh, Clam White! Clam White! Everyone's favourite Clam White. It's the best. <laughs> Three out of three for Clown White. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm showing you guys nothing new. Um, so I love Clown White to highlight with because when you're this fucking pale, white is the only colour you can go lighter than what your foundation is. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's like, oh, you know, I use another foundation colour. I'm like, what's fucking whiter than white? No, what? <laughs> it's atrocious. I have no other colours. So after I contour, I kind of know where I'm going then. She's starting to get to like Ooh. highlights and lowlights, which, you know, is important. Would you do the same thing for photo shoots? Um, yeah, yeah. To a point, I you don't use glitter mm. when I'm doing photo shoots. It yeah. just ends up being like super fucked otherwise. Mm. Um, and then so I've it's made textured, not shiny. Uh, yeah, it just, it's like, I love, 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 love glitter. Sorry, one sec. Um, Who doesn't, right? <laughs> Ooh. It's a lot, isn't it? It is, but it's it's definitely worth it. So literally I try and remove all my features, draw them back on, get it all blended together so it doesn't look super cracked. Where I want you to be. Oh, so insane. Okay, so now I go on to the next section, which I love to do. Powder. Um, I just use a Rimmel translucent. Oh. And this is where being naked really, really helps as well. Wearing black is probably not the best idea. No, so, um. Okay, yeah, normally what I do is do this. Oof. Setting spray is Jesus. What I'm gonna be doing next is um, doing a second line on the brows with uh, Jeffree Star's Red Rum. So Ooh. we're gonna be bringing in red a lot. So I used to use face paint. 
activated. Mm. Oh, no, just a liquid face paint. Okay. It was the worst idea. So I kind of got rid of that idea. My whole idea was to paint this whole part of my face black. Yeah. Um, and then I realized if I'm doing a comedy act, people need to see my eyebrows. Yeah. So I had to kind of pair it back and pair it back and pair it back and see where I could bring in the black and the mm. white and the red. So, um, Ooh. yeah, mate, it's mm. going to get weird up in here. <laughs> so do you, um, do you prefer to do comedy acts? Like, is that... Is that what you feel most comfortable or like the happiest? I'm not gonna lie, I love making people laugh because like for me, like burlesque isn't about me, it's about entertaining the audience. Mm -hmm. And um, like one of my most biggest pet peeves, uh, biggest pet peeves is when um, acts are very self-serving um, mm. just because if I wanted to masturbate, I would do it at home um, or, you know, in a public place if I was feeling really, really crazy. <laughs> um, but like, I wouldn't want to do it on stage, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Like, um, those those people have spent their hard-earned money to go and see you, so like the least you can do is make an act that can make them happy. And you can really gain fulfillment out of that. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that says about me, but... No, um, no it's because so many people use burlesque um, as like, a way to make themselves feel better about themselves. Yeah, like, I'm not your therapist. I don't get paid enough to be a therapist, especially if I'm only paying like 15 bucks to be an audience member. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so it's like super ridiculous, but yeah, I, um, I like doing a good comedy act. That doesn't mean I don't like to, uh, in layman's terms, slush it up. Slush it up. <laughs> um, and yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like I, I just, I love making acts that make me happy through making other people happy. So comedy is a really easy one for that. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not saying I found it easier to make people laugh. It's fucking hard to make people laugh. It really is. Um, but I just feel like I have a better knack for it than um, being serious and sultry and sexy, which hats off to people who can do that. I'm just not serious and sultry and sexy. Sultry? <laughs> you are salty though. I am salty as fuck, mate. Um. <laughs> so, it's like super dramatic, super relaxed. A, a little bit of liner. Yeah, just a touch, like tiny amount. Um, and yeah, this is this is all just about making and building the character. Yes, the transformation is almost complete. Okay, so um, I used Nails Orgasm and Hourglass Luminous Flush. And no. She's fancy. One, one's pink and one's orangey. That's really what I based them off. Um, and they're also the two blushes I own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just doing a really, really, really subtle blush look. Just a little, just a touch. It's a lot. <laughs> blush is one of those things you really need to pack on though. Um, yeah, so if one of my biggest things for beginners is don't be afraid of blush when you start and don't be afraid of eyeliner. Like those two can really make your look. I love using a lot of makeup um, because I feel like my face can take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna just come onto here. Oh, double liner. So when you do something like Miss Burlesque, do you have to like rub all your makeup off and do a new face? Um, there are girls who do that. However, it takes me about an hour to do my face. So um, it was like do tiny little additions, like, mm -hmm. um, you know, do a red lip or, um, you know, put red underneath my eyebrows or underneath my eyes mm -hmm. um, for Ibis because the, like for me, I was quite lucky. It was like, um, uh, 
I just had to get darker as the night went on. Mm. Um, so I started off with a very classic look, you know, my basic glitter, glitter eyeshadow. Um, <laughs> and um, then I went to my queen look, so I put a lot more blush on. And then for my uh, ibis, I put red underneath. So it was kind of just add, 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 add. So a little bit of highlighter. Just something subtle. Ooh. With my Ibis look, um, red lips are really important. Um, once again, theme of the red. And also, I eat a sandwich on stage. By eat a sandwich, I mean I deep throat it. Okay, so lips. I'm pretty like lazy with my lips. I just coat them with red lipstick. So we just quickly put on some lashes and a quick bit of glitter on the lips. Some biodegradable glitter if you must oh. know. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, what? Product placement. What? What? Oh. Just a little oh. something something that you can uh, buy from Margot Le Gogo. Glitter a go go. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish everything off. You've got a little bit of costuming. And um <laughs> Yeah. <Eey>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back and I'm an ibis now. All the best people are. This is beautiful mask that Lenore made with her own two hands. Don't look closely at shit. She stoned it and everything. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just feeling... Gonna get out here. Feeling the ibis fantasy right now. What sound does an ibis make, Lenore? <laughs> 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 It's very, very, uh, very subtle look um, for your Ibis needs. You can pick this up at 1-800-IBIS-FOREVER. <laughs> um, forever is spelled for and then EVA because <laughs> we're real fancy shit. We're fancy like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you also can be an Ibis and look super sexy in full Ibis regalia. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, now you have to go and terrorize small children for sandwiches. With and pleasure. Yeah, because ibises are the worst but the best and all the best people are ibises. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Lenore. No, thank you. <laughs> and this has been so much fun. And I'm a super, super ibis now. So, watch out. No sandwich is safe. Nor Love any of your food children. items. Be nice to Ibises, they're really sad. But they're cool! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> bye!